Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn how to add gradient colors to our artwork in Adobe Illustrator. A gradient is a great way to add some depth to your artwork. You can use gradient to create color blends, add volume to vector objects, or maybe add some light and shadow effects. to your artwork first we will click the wristband on the top and select it then we'll click the gradient tool and go into the properties panel as you can see there are three types of gradients linear radial and freeform gradient we will select the linear gradient for this as soon as you click the linear gradient type you will see a slider on top of your artwork it is called gradient annotator Let's move the gradient annotator to a slanting angle, more like a 45 degree angle. We will add the start point on top at one corner and the end point close to the screen in the middle. You can see we will click the first color stop and we will be changing one color side to lighter and the other to darker to give more highlight and shadow effect. With this gradient type, you can blend colors from one point to another in a straight line. Now we will click the other side of the wristband and use the eye dropper tool to copy the gradient style. Let's just add some metallic effect to the rims of the smartwatch and we will use the same method. Click the linear gradient and rotate the slider and use the color stops to look more metallic. There are many ways to add a gradient. One way is to add gradient via gradient panel. I am going to use the properties panel to add gradients in this video. We will show you other ways to add gradients in future videos. You can use the gradient annotator to modify the angle location and spread of a linear gradient. We will use the gradient annotator to add new color stop. specify new colors for individual color stops change opacity settings and drag color stops to new locations Now let's add some gradient to the screen with the same method. We will use the linear gradient type and we'll drag the start point to one corner of the screen and drag the end point to the other corner of the screen. Keep rotating the slider to adjust the angle. Now let's add some dark colors to the gradient to look more like a glass or a screen. Click one of the color stops and press Alt on Windows or Option key on Mac and drag to duplicate the color stop to the middle. Select color for the middle stop to give that glare effect. You can also adjust the spread if you want and adjust the highlight and shadows.
time to add a gradient to the crown. We will use the linear gradient again. Rotate the slider to a 90 degree angle. Adjust the start and end points. And use the colors to make it look curved. Subscribe for more design related videos and click the bell icon so that you don't miss any notifications for the new video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.